Aloha Kauai. Here's our COVID-19 briefing from Team Kauai for Friday, January 22nd. The Department of Health is reporting one new case today. The case is an adult resident and is related to mainland travel. We currently have six active cases. All are in isolation. None are hospitalized. We have 17 people in health directed quarantine as close contacts. Our cumulative case count is now 206, including 177 confirmed locally, one probable, and 28 tested elsewhere but reported after arrival on island. We are pleased to report that our resident who has been hospitalized on Oahu for several weeks has since been discharged from the hospital and is now back home on Kauai. Our police and National Guard personnel are tracking nearly 1,500 people in travel-related quarantine. We continue our phased vaccination program here on Kauai as more vaccines become available each week. There are several ways in which our residents will be offered vaccines. Depending on your eligibility, you may receive an invitation directly from the Department of Health or you'll be offered to receive a vaccine from our local hospitals or other partners. At this time, the following industry groups have been offered vaccines through the Department of Health's vaccine pod. Healthcare workers and first responders, teachers and staff from all K-12 and post-secondary public, charter and private schools, child care workers, agriculture workers involved in food production, including farmers and ranchers, as well as other food production workers and grocery store employees. If you are included in any one of these industry groups and have not yet received a vaccine invitation from your employer, please submit a survey at kauai.gov forward slash vaccine and a representative from the Department of Health will get back to you. Pharmacies have worked with long-term care facilities to vaccinate patients and staff on site at their facility. Additionally, we are working on getting vaccines to smaller care homes on island. Veterans who get health care through their VA benefits can sign up to receive vaccines through the Veterans Association. This vaccination program is currently not available to other veterans or those with TRICARE. Lastly, all kupuna age 75 and over can get a vaccine through Wilcox Hospital, KVMH, and Mahilona Hospital. Appointments must be made in advance. Walk-ins will not be accepted. Kupuna appointments should be made online directly with the hospital. For a link to the hospital website, please visit koi.gov forward slash vaccine. Please note that hospitals are confirming appointments based on vaccine availability. As more vaccines become available, more appointments will open up. Please do not register more than once. Duplicate registrations will add delays to the program. If a kupuna does not have online access or has difficulty registering, Please call the Office of Elderly Affairs at 241-4470. The office can help you sign up on the website, but they can't change where you are in line. Mahalo to the wonderful staff at our Office of Elderly Affairs who have been working hard to answer calls and help get our kupuna registered for their vaccines. Great job, team. Thus far, we have administered more than 7,000 vaccines on Kauai, which represents about 10% of the island residents old enough to receive it. This mass vaccination process could not be possible without the hard work of our Kauai District Health Office, the collaborative effort of our three on-island hospitals, and our Medical Reserve Corps. This is a group of dedicated volunteers who have been manning our vaccination pod daily. It's only through this team effort that our island is successfully moving through our vaccine program. A sincere mahalo to all those involved. We anticipate more vaccine opportunities to be available in the coming weeks and months, so please stay tuned as information is updated regularly. We will provide any new information through these video updates and our Kauai vaccine website at kauai.gov forward slash vaccine. Meanwhile, whether you've been vaccinated or not, it is still important to wear masks, keep distance, and avoid large gatherings. Thousands of our fellow residents remain at risk of infection, and it is possible that even if you're vaccinated, you could get a mild infection and still pass the disease to vulnerable neighbors. The County of Kauai, in partnership with the Kauai District Health Office, is providing free COVID-19 testing for Kauai residents in high-risk industries. 
Those eligible include employees in the visitor industry, individuals who travel to Kauai with an approved modified quarantine, and first responders and county workers with authorization from their supervisor. Testing is available Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the War Memorial Convention Hall in Lihue. No appointment is necessary. Visitor and hospitality workers should bring proof of employment in that industry, such as a work ID, pay stub, W-2, or letter from employer. Individuals traveling on a modified quarantine exemption must provide proof of their modified quarantine approval. First responder agencies and county workers should bring an approved authorization form from their supervisor. If you're sick and think you should be tested for COVID-19, please call your primary care provider immediately. If you do not have a primary care physician, please call Wilcox Hospital at 462-5430 and hit option three. The Small Business Administration launched a new round of the Paycheck Protection Program. This program provides forgivable loans to businesses that experience a loss of revenue of at least 25%. Small businesses with 300 or fewer employees are eligible to apply. The PPP loans can be used to cover payroll and other eligible expenses. To apply for a PPP loan, you should consult with a local lender. To learn more about PPP eligibility and program details, please visit the SBA website at www.sba.gov forward slash PPP. Koi's new travel rules are now in effect. All inter-island travelers can be exempt from quarantine by participating in the Safe Travels program with a negative pre-travel test from one of the state's trusted testing partners. For more information on the state's Safe Travels program or to view the list of trusted testing partners, visit hawaiicovid19.com forward slash travel. For out-of-state travelers who wish to reduce their quarantine to three days, you have the option to participate in the Resort Bubble Program by taking a pre- and post-travel test. We now have eight approved Resort Bubbles on island. For more information on this program, please visit koi.gov forward slash COVID-19. Additionally, our modified quarantine program remains in effect for essential workers or those who must travel for medical needs. As a friendly reminder, all incoming travelers subject to quarantine must complete a Kauai arrival form. Complete these forms online to save you time upon arrival. For more information on Kauai's travel rules, please visit kauai.gov forward slash COVID-19. COVID-19 has brought about a lot of changes for many households and their pets. The Koi Humane Society can assist your family through adoptions, but they also have many services to help keep pets in their homes when times are tough. To better serve the needs of the island, the Humane Society is requesting your help through their online survey. The survey is completely free, anonymous, and should only take about one to two minutes to complete. To access the survey, please visit kauaihumane.org and click on the survey link. The Hawaii Food Bank Kauai chapter is continuing to supply its network of food pantries and are planning pop-up food distributions. For more information, see hawaiifoodbank.org forward slash kauai. The Kauai Independent Food Bank is continuing its backpack, keiki, kupuna, and Westside homebound senior programs and also has a series of scheduled community deliveries this month. For more information, See kawaiifoodbank.org. Our planning department is asking residents to take an online survey on its Waimea 400 master plan, which is planning the future of the 417-acre parcel that the county acquired on the Mauka side of the highway between Waimea and Kekaha. You can learn about the master plan and take the survey at waimea400.com to indicate preferences for park and recreational amenities and housing. Comments can also be dropped off at businesses around West Kauai. For more information, please visit ymail400.com. Mahalo for understanding the role you play in mitigating the spread of COVID-19 on our island. Please continue to stay home as much as possible. Refrain from social gatherings or public outings. If you must interact with people outside of your home, maintain a distance of six feet of separation and wear a mask, if at all possible for you to do so. Remember, my mask protects you 
and your mask protects me. It's a sign of respect and aloha. Do not leave home if you are sick unless you are seeking medical attention, and then only after calling your doctor first. Wash your hands frequently and clean surfaces often. Stay informed and connected during this time of social distancing. We'll continue to post updates on our official County of Kauai Facebook page or on our Kauai Emergency Management Agency page at www.kauai.gov forward slash COVID-19. The Centers for Disease Control is also updating its website regularly. For more information, please visit coronavirus.gov. Not everyone has internet access or follows the news, so please help to keep your loved ones informed. Be kind, take care of one another, God bless, and aloha.